Hey, Shalom, brothers. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baraka Thumb. All right. First off, I'm gonna give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem Harakah Kodash, to belong to the apostles and the elders and teachers of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. It's Brother Yahweh Shai Zion, and I'm just coming through with this quick message. All right, and I'm gonna label the video something to the nature of stocks plummet um, as Feds. You know, hike the uh, or the rate. You know, really, the, the Feds would hike the interest rates. So, in all of this, is a false balance, and a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. That's why they keep sliding the scales unevenly to try to tip it back to where it's comfortable. Uh, but ultimately, these disasters and things are simply to cause confusion. Because we're living in America, which is Babylon the Great, okay? And remember what America is called, Mystery Babylon the Great. And, um, you know, this is basically the great whore, you know? And it's the mother of harlots, man, this place. It's, it's just absolutely horrible. And all the stocks, which worldwide investors basically all partake in, is based in New York, the heart of America, the capital of Babylon the Great, the city of confusion, the capital of the great whore, okay? <laughs> the wine of Babylon that is poisonous, the mixture of ideas and confusing thoughts and false balances, man. You know what I'm saying? And I effortlessly can say things like that because it flows right off the tongue because this place is evil, man. And the scriptures tell us. So let's go to this article posted today on... The Wicked Ass Witches Sabbath uh, Halloween, which I want to go in on that shit too, man. But that'll be another video. But anyways, it says U.S. stocks moved lower on Monday as investors get ready for another outsized interest rate hike from the Federal Reserve on Wednesday. It says U.S. stocks fell on Monday as investors gear up for another Fed rate interest rate hike later this week. Federal Chair Jerome Powell is expected to rate to hike rates by another 75 basis points. Okay, which is very, very bad. Okay. So three quarters of a percent. That's very, very high. Uh it says at its FOMC meeting on on Wednesday. says investors also continue to focus on third quarter earnings results. Okay, so there's there's a lot going on here, man. Look at this. Continuing down, it says aside from more rate hikes, investors continue to focus on third quarter earnings results which have been mostly beating expectations. So far 52% of S&P 500 companies have reported results and of those companies so 72% are beating profit estimates by a median of 5%, according to data from Fundstrat. Okay, so you see see what's going on? So they're making money off of this. They are making money off of this stuff, man. They're charging you more money and making more money off of you. <laughs> That's why the Lord's going to destroy these people, man. Look, they're going to destroy these people. You know, the Lord is going to destroy these devils, man. You know, crypto and all of that stuff, bonds and commodities, get out of this stuff. Commodities also should not be tipping and changing. You know what I'm saying? Like food costs more to today than it does yesterday. What the hell are y'all niggas talking about, man? See, this, that's why the Lord ain't dealing with them. Let me go straight to the scriptures now. This is very disturbing, man. You know? It pisses you off because it's like, you know, we know what's going on, but there's nothing we can do. And this is fine because like the American economy and the world economy can just go down the tubes. It doesn't matter. And by the way, you, Akiam, as long as you stay in the Lord, abstain from sin, okay, you'll be okay. Repent for your sins. The Lord will increase you more and more as this time uh, happens. You know what I'm saying? And that's what's happening with us, you know. We're just making more money. 
You know what I'm saying? They're they're charging more for things. People are hiking up rates and hiking up uh rents, rent payments and shit. But we're just making more money. We're being more diligent and being wise and making moves, man. That's why the Lord said, my servant shall eat. <coughs> Isaiah 10 and 1. It says, woe unto them that, that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay? And that's exactly what they have done. That's the so-called American economy and the wicked ass elites. All right. And even the fact that, you know, just like when these rappers die, I think it was Cat Williams that said that every time a rapper dies or whatever, you know, they make money off the royalties like crazy because the sales go up because the guy died. I think Biggie said that, you know what I'm saying? You nobody until somebody kills you, which is crazy. Um, and a big popular rappers like that, they got these deals with them where they're making money. Now, bear in mind, if they're dead, like they have that saying, an expression, dead man can't talk. And, uh, you know, only leave one side of the story, too. I, th I believe it's cops that have that saying, only leave one side of the story. That's why they basically destroy their people that they shoot at or whatever. A hundred percent, they empty that clip because they don't want the person testifying what happened or have any other, you know, combating uh, story, conflicting story from what they tell. But the fact remains that when that happens and these people have people set up or whatever, or death of a rapper, they make more money, you know? And it's all based upon the love of money being the root of all evil, the lust for money, okay? And also the choking of the word of the Lord, because the scriptures talk about that too. Um, we'll go into that in a minute. This is Isaiah 3 and 11. It says, woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill, which means bad, with him. For the reward of his hands shall be given him. Right, and the same thing with the women with the OnlyFans. All of that stuff, man. Okay? All that stuff is wealth gain my vanity. Uh, choke the word. Let's get this real quick. This is Mark 4 and 19. It says, In the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches... And the lusts of other things entering in choke the word and it becometh unfruitful. So at the end of the day, it's a twofold thing that you got going on here. You have the Israelites that have been scattered abroad, small among the heathen, okay, due to the curses in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, okay, due to disobedience to keeping the commandments. And that's why the Christian churches always push the law's done away with. The law's done away with. You know, we're all Gentiles. We're all Gentiles. Confusing, confusing, confusing. <laughs> and because they don't want you to have, they they call the, the the letter of the law a burden. You know, the burden of the law we couldn't keep. Look, there was people who kept the law, man. You know what I'm saying? Now keeping it perfectly, obviously in the land of captivity, that's going to be a problem, wouldn't it be? You know. And yes, we need a savior. Obviously, we're going to need Yahweh Shai in order to absolve us of our sins. Because no man is righteous like that, okay? And uh, the only way that the scripture says that you are righteous if you do what is righteous, meaning to keep on doing great, to keep on adhering to the law, statutes, and commandments. But ultimately, salvation comes through Yahweh Shai. And anything they can do to kind of quench your spirit through having to work these jobs and having to, uh, you know, basically distract you from praying to your God and also to distract uh, you from, you know, diligently keeping the laws and statutes and commandments, you know, such as that wayward doctrine of, oh, we're all, you know, Gentiles and we don't have to keep the law. Well, what's Isaiah 59 say? It says that your sins have separated between you and your God that he will not hear, roughly paraphrase it, Okay. But the Lord's arm is not shortened that he cannot save, neither his ear uh, that he, he cannot hear, right? So that's the reason why these people are causing confusion and chaos and capitalizing on opportunities you know, of a destructive uh, economy or a uh, tumultuous economy, you know? When it's all in an uproar, everybody panic buys and panic this, panic that. If you notice the last year and two years and what we learned during that, you know, scamdemic is that people started spending when they needed to 
when things would happen. So it's kind of like a chain reaction. People aren't just going out buying stuff. They're buying stuff at holidays. They're buying stuff when somebody dies or listens to the music. They're buying stuff when, you know, there's a war, you know, whatever. There's a pandemic. There's all types of stuff. They go and panic buy and buy a bunch of goods. You see what I'm saying? But when there's nothing going on, you know, people are just kind of chilling. So, again, if these are unrighteous decrees in a uh, wicked, wicked land, man. America the Great, which is uh, really Babylon the Great, rather. And that's the place where the, the deceitfulness of these riches are what choke the word of the Lord, man. Because of the poisonous doctrine of do as thou wilt in America. All right? And that's why, the, you know, like it said in Isaiah 3, they're going to be destroyed. But anyway, let's keep going. Mark 4, 19, one more time, says, And the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lusts of other things entering in choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. Okay? Again, with the distractions, brothers, you got to watch and keep your head on a swivel. Be ready for everything. Be, be peeping the little details. Peep the subtle nuances and those types of things. Because the devil is in the details, as they say. Okay? The adversary is distracting you from the details. And there's details that you need to pay attention to, man. So you don't get caught up and slip. All right? And just like it says right here. Because this, if you were paying attention and you were on watch, you'd be knowing about stuff like this. You'd be on guard for types of things like this in the economy. All right? And you'd also be setting yourself up to save money. And you'd be giving alms as well because you know that alms deliver from death. Okay? As the scripture says. This is Isaiah 3 and 11 again. Woe unto the wicked. That means destruction. It shall be ill, bad, with him. For the reward of his hands shall be given him. Right. <clears throat> and let's go to that and get some precepts for that. Isaiah 48 and 22, there is no peace, saith the Lord Yahweh, unto the wicked. Right, there it is. There it is, man, that comforts your spirit. If anybody does you dirty or has tried to, you know, does do something to you, there is no peace with that person, man. Don't get it, don't get it twisted on Instagram or Facebook and Snapchat and whatever the hell they sending you shit about like they doing or whatever people you still using Snapchat, whatever. Uh, TikTok, whatever. Don't be fooled by this shit. It's just the 10 second clip. It's just a 15 second clip. These people ain't doing shit, man. You know what I'm saying? When they lay their head to bed, they not having a good time, man. Believe me. They are not having no good times, man. They make you think so because they're deceiving you, man. But the Lord said that the deceived and the deceiver are his. So they've been taken and they're going to get taken in their own evil. Okay. They're going to get taken to their whole entire evil. Isaiah 57 and 20 says, But the wicked are like the troubled sea, when it cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire and dirt. There is no peace, saith my power to the wicked. Yeah, the people are destroyed, man. That's beautiful. And in Isaiah 65 and 13, here's some comfort. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh power, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. <laughs> we told you so. Hey, man, we're going to be just fine. But you evil ass, wicked ass niggas, you're going to have to pay. It says, behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. Right, because it's a balance. There's evil niggas and evil bitches out there. And yeah, I'm calling you bitches, man, because you are that. The Most High is going to kill your ass and he's going to literally put you in a hurt locker, man, and he's going to vex your spirit, man. You're going to be howling, man. Oh, oh, help me. Like a little bitch, man. And that's the same prideful jackass who was sitting there saying, ha ha, you still believe in your God? Yahweh Shai ain't going to do shit. 
had a bitch say that to me. And you know what happened? She got arrested within 24 to 48 hours, man. Just like I told her, I cursed her ass. <laughs> and I said, yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah, oh, she ain't going to do shit. I said, you don't play with that name, man. She'll lock Ryan on your ass. I said, and with, within 24 to 48 hours, the Lord's going to jack you up, man. And I remember the force I said that with, too. I said, the Lord's going to jack your ass up, man. And I was pissed. And he did. And he got her, man. With like five or six charges and got her car impounded and was walking at 11 o'clock at night. You know what I'm saying? What's good on the, on the road, man? Or no, it was like one o'clock in the morning or 11. Yeah, it was like 11 or something like that. She called me uh, when I, the Lord put me to sleep, too. It was funny. It was my girl at the time. Wicked bitch. Verse 15, it says, And he shall leave your name uh, for a curse unto my chosen. Right, yeah. Hey, there you have it. That's the spirit. I didn't even know that was the next verse. You know what I'm saying? I was looking off the other way. It says, For the Lord, Yahweh, power, shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. There shall be no more than an infant of days. It says, Nor an old man that hath not filled his days, for the child shall die an hundred years old, but the sinner, being an hundred years old, shall be accursed. We, so yeah, don't think because you know you're you're keeping on, the Lord's not keeping you. Want like the scriptures say, man, the the wicked are made for the day of destruction, man. You know what I'm saying? So you don't think because you and here's the thing, brothers, don't think because these people are prospering, like meaning they're surviving. The Lord didn't take them out, like to death or whatever yet that they're not being punished. The Lord will preserve them. For the day of evil and the day of destruction, and he will vex the spirit all along the way and curse them, man. They're going to be cursed to never have money, you know, to high level. They're going to be cursed to barely make it, have health problems. Family's going to die. People are going to turn their backs on them. They're always going to be running into bad luck, getting fired from jobs, never able to keep a job, never able to have a home of their own, never even getting to really have a home to just live in by themselves. They got to always be with a roommate or somebody sleeping in a corner and sleeping in squalor. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's going to destroy their ass, man. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying to help to build up your spirit and to focus on the things of the Lord because riches profit not in the day of the Lord's wrath. Okay? In the day of the Lord's wrath, man. So, you know, Pray to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and do as many videos as possible. Okay, through the spirit, of course, don't force it, man. You know, I've been dealing with that the last couple of days. I'm like, I'm not in the spirit, man. So I'm not gonna do it right now. You know, I gotta wait till the Lord tells me to do the video, you know. It's not about um, you know, doing it beyond the the will of the Lord, you know what I'm saying? It's about being in compliance with the spirit of the Lord. All right, so with that, Lord willing, this is edifying, man. If this is your first time watching the channel, repent. For the kingdom of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is at hand. Shalom.